Hello everyone, this is me, Sabia here, and I'm back with the monthly reads for the month of June 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, let's see what is coming in for you in this month's time. I will be adding a lot more in this reading, so stay tuned Hum before I dive into the read. Let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for present reads. You can always reach out to me on the email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. What is coming in for Capricorns? What can you expect coming up for you in the month of June 2023? Wow, we have our first card, which is the Nine of Cups. So with this card and this card paired up, you are going to overcome all the challenges, obstacles that you are having to achieve your goal, desire, wish. I really see you fighting for it. Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you are craving for, whatever it is that you're wishing and praying for, you are going to win all the fights around it and you're going to make things happen. So I really feel like you know the month of June is going to be something where you are going to achieve your goal. You are going to achieve success. You are going to fight inner demons and you are going to fight for your love, your relationship, your goal, your work, your finances. You're going to make things happen. Um, so I really feel like, you know, there, this this month is going to be the time when you are going to also conquer your fears as well. So whatever it is that you're wishing, hoping, desiring, you are going to make it happen in the month of June. So I really feel like, you know, this month is going to be the time where a lot is going to be taking place in your life. Um, a lot of inner shifts also taking place in your life in the month of uh, June. Let's see more cards. Let's see what else is coming in for you. <clears throat> for some of you, if you have been having a, uh, any addictions, you would be definitely walking out of it, leaving it behind and, you know, bettering your life up for sure. Um, addiction to a person, addiction to a wrong relationship, addiction to any uh, small king or anything injurious to your health, you would be definitely breaking free from that as well in this uh, month time. And I really feel like, you know, you will be definitely changed for good. Uh, let's see. More cards here. The High Priestess, Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, The Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, Three of Cups, and Three of Wands. Now, I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, um, threes are going to be very significant for you in this month's time. That's for sure. Third of June, third week of the month, um, any number or any date that has three in it would be very significant for you in the month of June. So, so just, just know that for sure. Now, I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, um, there, there has been a pattern in your life. I really feel like and it can be a pattern in your love life. It can be a yeah, pattern in your work life or home life situation. I really see something coming up for you, uh, which is uh, going to help you break that pattern. So that pattern that you're breaking right now is definitely unhealthy because with you breaking this pattern, I really see abundance coming towards you. I really see financial security coming your way. I really see um, breaking free from this pattern is going to change your life forever now for those of you who have been having a pattern of on and off in a relationship i really see you breaking free from that for majority of you maybe it is going to be a hard thing for you to do so but you are going to make it happen this uh, month time i really feel like you know you will have a lot of divine support in the month of june as well um for some of you yes you will be also having a good support coming up for you when it comes to your financial uh situations so for some of you you might be getting good promotions in the month of june you will be having a lot of people who are going to support your your uh your uh agenda when it comes to your your work situation i really feel like you know you are going to get something that you have been waiting for in the month of june so i really see your wish getting granted unexpected help would be also coming in for those of you who really need a boost of uh, something in your life to to get closer to your desire you'll be getting that boost as well in this month time i really feel like you know, for a majority of you um you are going to be dedicated towards 
yourself in the month of June. I already see you dedicated towards achieving your goals. You are going to be dedicated to better your life up, yourself up. You will be investing a lot of time in self-improvement in the month of June as well. I really don't see anything major happening in your love life, but I really see you breaking free from unhealthy habits, unhealthy patterns in love as well. So I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, if you had the tendency of going back to the past person or, you know, being on the, you know, be, being like a doormat to that person, I really see you stopping that. You're not going to let people use you or abuse you emotionally as well. So I really see you more focused on yourself. So I really don't think that there will be much happening in your love life. Um, because I really feel like in a majority of you, you're breaking free from unhealthy patterns in love as well in this month's time. So it's going to be a time when you are going to feel like, no, it's time for you to give yourself all the time that you have in the world. So I really see that coming through. Let's see what else is happening for you in the month of June. <clears throat> what else is happening in the month of June for you? What else coming up for Capricorns in the month of June? Stand your ground. I really feel like you, know, you are going to feel like, yes, you have to. Um, there will be a lot of obstacles that you have to overcome, but you're going to stand out and make things happen. When it comes to... Um, I feel like, you know, you need to exchange your energy to create abundance. Now, for some of you, I really feel like, you know, again, uh, taking care of yourself, taking care of your energies is going to help you uh, trade in something good for yourself as well. You know, give out, you know, love and love will be given to you. So make sure that you're investing yourself and your time into making things hap happening in your life. So when you give out something, you will be receiving that. Make sure that you're giving out love, happiness, abundance to other people. You will be given more of that. I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, it's also very important right now for you to let go of the past. If you really want a new cycle, you have to start a new cycle from within as well. Start thinking differently. Start trading um, your, your, you know, um, Treat, treat good things um, for good things. Don't don't uh, try to keep yourself stuck and stagnant in a wrong situation. I really feel like, you know, it's going to be a month where you will be able to create miracles if you if you choose the right amount of thoughts and right thoughts create or uh, will create the right, uh, right um, uh, you know, uh, opportunities to have your wish getting, you know, um, um, to fruition. Um, release the old and rest. I really feel like you know, the divine really want you to make sure that you are taking good care of yourself and um, release anything that is unhealthy for you uh, in all and every possible ways. I really feel like you know, it's going to be a good, good, good time for you to release any um, toxic ex, toxic relationship, toxic patterns, toxic, um, um, you know, um, habits that you might be having. It's time for you to get back to healthy way of life. I feel like, you know, um, getting rid of addictions can also help you get on the right path forward as well. Let's see one last card of the read. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So it's time for you to make sure that you're keeping your faith strong, um, making sure that, you know, whatever, you know, if, if there is nothing good happening in your life right now, Having that faith that you are worthy of it, having that faith that everything is going to be all right, having the faith that the universe has your back, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. That peace that you're going to feel around it is going to bring you all that you truly desire. So I really feel like it's time for you to change and switch your thoughts, get rid of uh, any unhealthy habits, patterns, relationship, and create the life that you desire. I really see you getting your wish granted. Um, at least one of your wish granted and uh, I feel like you know you will be fighting for for something uh, that you really truly desire as well let me take one last card for your love life <clears throat> first swords okay what is it all about one more card I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, um, maybe, maybe there is something that has been hurting you a lot in love. Um, it's going to be hard for you to not think about that now and to surrender and to, 
let things be when it comes to your love life. But keeping your faith strong is going to make things happen for you. Now, I really feel like you know, if there is a specific someone that you have strong feelings and love for, you will be giving up on that connection. You will be surrendering that relationship. You're not going to be chasing that person. You're not going to be like going after this person to make them realize your worth or anything. You will just let them be, let them go, let them, you know, do whatever they want to do. You're not going to be chasing them any longer. So that shift is going to make you the magnet that you always wanted to be to attract the love that you seek, that you desired. Now, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you are going to put your... Uh, time and effort, like I said earlier, to better your life up. But at the same time, you would intend something beautiful for your love life. You know, yes, you love someone. Yes, that's perfectly fine. But you cannot let that person treat you like a shit. You are choosing to love yourself now. You're choosing to go a separate way from this person where you would meet somebody who's going to love you and value you. That's what I'm picking up very strongly when it comes to your love life. Maybe you have been hurt, but at the same time, you're realizing that, you know, letting them go is going to set you free. And that's what you're doing in love in this month time. So that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help. Do like, share, and subscribe if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer. And if you are willing to purchase affirmations as you walk into the month of uh, June, check the description box for that. Till I do the next reading, take care. Bye.